Okay, here are my initial thoughts. The athlete had an increased respiratory rate that measured at 35 breaths per minute. She also had an increased heart rate that measured at 160 beats per minute. She described her breathing as restricted, but on auscultation, I heard no abnormal breath sounds. There was no strider or wheeze. So right now, I'm thinking, is this cardiac or pulmonary? Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since you came off the floor, so I'm just going to re-listen to your breathing. Okay, so what happened exactly? Like, what were you feeling? So, I was going to go for my last tumbling pass, but I started to get really panicky because I couldn't breathe and my heart rate was, like, really high. So I had to stop so I could catch my breath. And did you feel, like, tightness or anything? Yeah, my chest was super tight. Okay, has this happened to you before? Yeah, I had this happen once last year. So from our PPEs, we know that the athlete has no family history of heart conditions. We also know that she has no known diagnosis of exercise-induced bronchospasm or exercise-induced laryngeal obstruction. She wasn't exerting herself more than she usually does. In fact, she's done this routine hundreds of times, and the episode resolved within 10 minutes. Hmm. Actually, I've noticed that the athlete hasn't been as talkative as she usually is. Now that I think about it, she's been keeping to herself this past week. I haven't seen her hanging out with her teammates as much as she usually does. Can you tell me a little bit more about your day today? Like, has anything been different? How's school been going? Um, it was pretty normal. I went to the class and I went to practice. I just got a chemistry test back and I bombed it, so I'm pretty upset. Um, then at practice, I'm supposed to get a new tumbling pass before regionals, so coach is working me really hard on that. Yeah, it seems like a lot. How have you been dealing with that? Uh, I'm pretty stressed out. I just found out today that my dad asked me in the hospital for a few days, so I just I had a hard time focusing today because it just like all felt like it was all happening at once. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Has anyone have you told your coaches or teammates about your dad? No, I don't know how to bring it up. So originally I was thinking that this could either be cardiac or pulmonary, but after taking a more thorough history, I came to realize that psychological stress is a clear factor in this equation. The athlete just recently received news that a family member is sick, and this of course can be emotionally draining. On top of that, she's trying to balance academics, financial security, social life and peers, and gymnastics. All these factors can contribute to the stress that the athlete is feeling, and without proper self-care and management, it's easy to become overwhelmed. So I know you're experiencing a lot of stress right now, and I know it can be really helpful to talk through those things with people, and I just want to let you know that I'm always available, and I'm sure that your teammates and coaches would be happy to talk to you at any point about this stuff. Um, so what I think you might have experienced upstairs was a panic attack, so I'm going to refer you to our team physicians so that we can rule out like any cardiac or pulmonary issues, but your exam was really reassuring. It's so important for athletic trainers to always consider a biopsychosocial perspective when providing care. Here at Ithaca College, we make every effort to treat the person as a whole rather than just as an injury. We provide care for injuries and illnesses regardless of age, race, religion, gender, or sexual orientation. We provide compassionate care for all.